With me today are a few of the items available from JRC in their Rover luggage range. And of course, I've not got the whole range with me because again, I wouldn't be able to bring it all down by myself on a few hour day session. But I have brought some of the key items from their range, starting with the Rover rod carrier in front of me. Now, as you can see, this isn't your standard six foot rod holder, which would have obviously 12 foot rods inside. These are for smaller rods inside. And I've got some Rover rods inside. So everything you see today is pretty much all JRC. I've also got a carrier beside me and a couple of other items that I'll go through which are left at home but I have already covered so you'll see that later on. Now starting off with this carrier we'll go around the outside to start with. Now the idea of a carrier is that it can carry all. So if I wanted to come fishing and bare essentials not bring a chair or anything I probably could get away with just bringing this and my unhooking mat because on the outside we start with on the side nearest you is a very large pocket that would easily fit a sling. I've got a um, net in there at the moment but there's plenty of room for a sling in there as well a slimline sling so plenty of space to bring that and again all we'd need then for your fish care stuff would be your unhooking mat which would be separate to this there's still two more additional pockets on the front so if i open up this one nice and large so in here i've got my bank sticks and everything and a little mesh pocket for my receiver which I'll take out there as well, getting this all out because I'm on a session. So stacks of room in there, quite slim line pockets, so easy for tackle boxes, or like I said, the, the bank sticks I've got with me today. Excuse the ducks to the right, I've been trying to feed them off, trying to get the fish on the surface, but uh, there's about 20 ducks to contend with, and they now think I'm their friend. On the right, we've got another big pocket. This is perfect for my tackle box and there's some other odds and ends. A little bit deeper than this one, but slightly smaller. And again, you got a mesh pocket there to keep any other essentials separate from everything else in that bag. If you just want to know where everything, each and everything is. So I'll get that out as well, make it easier to uh, open up onto the inside. Zip that back up. This bag is transferable, or you can carry it with the carry handles like this. And there's also grab handles at each end, perfectly loading it in and out of the car or onto your barrow. I came down today on my barrow. This fit on the center and a few things around it. It's nice and slim line and lightweight on the barrow, but you can of course still carry this on your back, but the heavier you make it, the more cumbersome that's gonna become. But there is a fully removable shoulder strap there if you wish to use so. Uh, and on the bottom, you've got a wipe clean base. So you can put it down like I have at the moment. And uh, although I have got the carry strap underneath getting nice and grubby so if I was to have it over my shoulder I'd be nice and grubby for the trip pack but that is removable nice white clean base pull those to the side we've got dual zips either side fully opens up now once you open up onto the inside as you can see I've got my three rods fully made up and it's also worth noticing noting that on the top case there's actually a hard bit on the inside which is accessed from the top and that just gives it a nice bit of rigidity and also a lot more protection from any knocks and bumps on the outside but as you can see three rods broken down in there so nine foot rods broken down into two the reels fit here and as you can see there's a gap in here for the reels so slightly bigger reels might fit but it's also if the reel handle is slightly the uh, handle of the rods are slightly different lengths that reel should fit in there regardless of what rods you go for so of course jrc would love it if you went for their rover rod range but if not you could go for any other kind of collapsible rod on the market and they should fit within this system Underneath these rods are a couple more pockets, which is also helping to give it some of its rigidity because in there I've got buckets and things just to give it that extra strength so that when it's in here, the reels can move around in there without being or taking the brunt of the weight of the bag itself. So I'll remove the rods. You've got Velcro tabs at the top end and then little feet that they slot into at the base. So there's no way the rods are going to move around in there. And there we are, three rods. I'll have to set these up in a minute because there are fish everywhere in front of me and amazingly, I've got the lake to myself at the moment, despite it being middle of the day, rain's not meant to be coming in. There we are. These are the nine foot three pound Rover rods and some lovely little reels to balance it all off, which again are called the Rivals 6000 LC. So a lovely little setup. Hopefully you put them to a good use today, but pop that to the side. And as I said, there's two additional pockets on the inside here. On the bottom, which is the where the real seats would sit in or the, the bottom of the rods would go in, I've just got a little pocket in here and it comes with these Velcro dividers, which help give it its rigidity already. But if you want to add a bit more rigidity, obviously you want to fill them with things and that just bulks it all out. Here's a little accessory bag. Might as well touch upon it while I'm here. There's a few different sizes in the Rover range of accessory bag. And if I open that up, you'll see it comes with Velcro dividers. So I've got a couple of spots and a spider spot in there for uh, use later on. But if you wanted to 
divide this all up. You've got these Velcro straps, uh, little um, divider, sorry. You can put them in wherever you want, as quick as that. I know I completely butchered that, but there you go. That's how I'd like to have it set up. You can put those in there if you like. So just pop that to one side, a few of those available. And so, yeah, you've got a nice big pocket here, but good, quite, quite good actually for uh, spare clothes and things. If you're going on a day session, you just want to take a coat and stuff in there, something that we're not going to add too much weight to this because as I said, the heavier you make this, the slightly more awkward it will become to carry as the idea of a carry off, you carry everything in it, it's going to get heavy. But uh, yeah, maybe things like coats and additional uh, spares and things in there. Zip that back up. We then move over to this pocket, much the same, only it doesn't have a divider in. And I've just got my PVA bucket, or PVA bag bucket in there which again, gave it a nice bit of rigidity so that if there was to be anything that uh, crushed on top of this rod bag, it's not just the rods taking all the pressure. But as you can see, that is now empty and it's still keeping its rigidity. So there is a frame around the outside that keeps it nice and sturdy. And these little dividers and things help to keep it a bit more elevated. So it's not like all your rods or whatever you put in there is the structure, it already has a structure to it. So that is the rod carrier. <laughs> It's worth noting as well that this is a 500D material and it's water resistant, not waterproof, may I add, but water resistant. And it's the same with all the items through the range. So that's the rod carrier. Pop that to one side and we'll move over to this carrier, which as you can tell, I filled with a lot more bait as well. So with the uh, idea of a carrier, as you'd imagine, it carries just a load more stuff for you and it's you can come in different sizes. So you've got pockets on the right, the left and the front, depending on which way you're looking at it. But nice big pockets, perfect for tackle boxes and things like that. I could probably stick the one of the accessory pouches in there. So nice and easy to use the outside pockets for stuff that you need to grab quickly. Same on either side. And again, we've got the padded shoulder strap, which is fully removable. Oh no, apologies, this one isn't removable, but you've got the uh, padded shoulder strap, completely adjustable, and then the dual handles with the lovely sort of spongy material. So when you carry that, even if it's really heavy, it's not gonna dig into your hands. So that's nice and comfortable to hold. Around the top, we've got a little excess around covering the top of the main compartment so that the zips are covered, so they don't get covered in gunk and all sorts and snarl up over time. And on the inside, stacks of space. Because this is one of the larger ones, as you can see, that's a big old bucket I've got in there full of my bait. And another few items in there I've got to also filmed today. But there's stacks of room in there. I'm not sure of the exact literage, but I'm sure that all the descriptions will be on the website if you want more information on these items. But that's the, one of the carriers in the range. And as I've said, all the materials and the zips and things and build quality are the same throughout the range. And there's also a couple more items I didn't bring with me today. They're back at home. So we're going to head back to me this morning before I came out. So back to me in the past, I'm yet to actually get to the lake, but there's a couple of bags with me that are not going to take me on today's session, purely because I think I'm taking enough stuff for a few hours fishing on the bank. But there are a couple of other items in the Rover range. So with me to my right, which is put down here, is the Rover Large Cool Bag. As the name suggests, it's a cool bag, perfect for all your food to keep it nice and cool on a session. It's not the biggest of bags, I've got the uh, dimension to be on the website, but I'll give you an idea of how much is in there in a second. But it comes with a fully removable padded shoulder strap and a dual handle here which Velcro shut together. On the front you've got a little pouch, double zip bag or a little double zip pocket sorry where you can put little things like your I guess your cutlery or little cooking stuff and on the inside of the main bag as you'd expect with a cool bag it's fully lined keeping things nice and cool. Now just for example purposes I put some of the essentials in there like Ben and Jerry's and some Thatcher's and some more Thatcher's and, and some yeah some more Thatcher's but also some meals ready to uh, keep frozen for a longer session. I've got some chilies in there, burgers and all sorts and my milk and things. So quite a lot of uh, capacity in there. A little mesh pocket at the top for a few more essentials or little things you want to keep separate from everything else. But you could also use this bag as a bait bag as well because it will keep everything cool. If you want to get this muck in, chuck in some freezer bait in there, you can do so. So it really is up to you on what you use this bag for. for now. As you can see, the essentials for me may be a little bit different than to other people. Of course, it's not going to keep that Ben and Jerry's frozen for a whole session, but it should keep it frozen until you get to the lake. So that's the carry-all at the cool bag store, and that comes in at about 52.99 according to their website at the point of filming. And then the other one is this backpack. 
Now again, a backpack isn't anything revolutionary, but it's a few little changes on here to make it a bit more robust for when it takes uh, for taking it fishing. So on the back, you can see we've got fully padded sides, making it nice and comfortable on your back. Fully padded shoulder straps with little mesh bits for extra padding, and these ones actually have little uh, recesses so you can put say sunglasses in there or something to hold them on nice and robust handle at the very top so it's not a flimsy little one and on the other side oh actually one other thing to mention so keeping it nice and secure to your front which makes it a bit more uh, beefed up than a standard ruck rucksack or backpack you can get from the shop is you've got the one that goes around your waist as well so if this is a bit more heavily loaded up you want it nice and snug to your back you can do so with that fully adjustable straps all round. Move around onto the main part of the bag we've got lots of pockets so you can put everything you want in there so essentials here you want to quickly grab you can put in there nice and easily. Same on the side you've got mesh pockets for say your sunnies or something like that. At the top, we've got another smaller one. So I've just got my phone charger in there. Now I've set this one up for me as a cameraman. So a lot of the essentials I need that I don't want to take in main carriers and my fishing bags. Now I open up the main compartment. And I've just got spare clothes, power pack, my laptop charger. And again, on the inside, you've got this handy little lead, which is perfect for essentials. And again, for me, if I was using this as a camera bag, I've got my uh, hard drive in there, so I know it's not rattling around inside the bag. So you've got these little pockets to make sure you've got essentials in the place you want to keep them, but all the rest will fit in there. And I believe this is a 20 litre capacity bag, so it's quite a good sized backpack. So if you just want to take some essentials, maybe spare clothes, you don't want to go down the large carry-all route that a lot of our fishing luggage goes in, then this may be another little option for you to go for. And this comes in at, I think, around the 46.99 price. So a nice couple of other items in the range there. And I forgot to mention the price of this large carrier comes in at $54.99. And the rod carrier, which I started with today, is available in both a nine foot and a 10 foot version. A quick Google, you're looking around the 160 to 180 quid mark, respective of which one you go for. Now this is the nine foot one that I've had with me today, which is probably gonna be the most popular because nine foot rods seem to be the most uh, popular of the retractable shorter rod systems, but there is a 10 foot model available as well. So for more information on any of the items I show you today and more in their range, please do head over to the JRC website. Fish just head and shoulder behind the camera. So I'm itching to get the rods out and putting these Rover rods to the test, which also is worth mentioning that Tom Ayers has already done a video on these Rover rods previously. So check the link in the description if you want to check out those rods. And the reels with me today, as I said, are the Rivals, which is a lovely little balance rail for this rod and reel setup. But that is everything for me today. So please subscribe to us if you haven't already and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads when they go out. And also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on your screen right now. Time for me to get the rods out and try and get rid of those ducks. They've been doing my heading since I got here. A few more freebies and hopefully the carp will come on the feed. And I did get to test the rod and reel setup. Lovely couple of fish off the surface. Very pretty one to win the day. Happy days. Let's get you back.